Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing a 8 to 24 millimeter zoom eyepiece from Mead and Celestron. So, as you can see right over here, this eyepiece zooms in from 24 millimeters all the way to 8 millimeters. And it's pretty heavy duty, metal construction, nice rubber grip over here. And uh, this is made by both Mead and Celestron. Uh, I believe the Mead one's now been discontinued, but the Celestron one is still available. Uh, they're both the exact same eyepiece, just with a different label on them. So what do the numbers on the eyepiece mean? Basically, the eyepiece zooms in from 24 millimeters all the way to 8 millimeters. So the way you calculate magnification on a telescope is you take the focal length of your telescope and you divide it by the focal length of the eyepiece. So let's say you have an 800 millimeter focal length telescope. To figure out the magnification, you simply divide that by 24. So you get 33 times magnification of the lowest magnification. And if you zoom in all the way to 8x, or sorry, 8 millimeter, then you'll get 800 divided by 8. That's 100 times magnification. So on your telescope in that case, it would zoom from 33 times to 100 times magnification. So at low power, this eyepiece would be pretty good for larger objects such as open clusters, galaxies, and larger nebulae. And at high power, that's close to the 8 millimeter uh, part of the zoom range, it would be good for planets, uh, looking at the moon, smaller planetary nebulae, or globular clusters, since those are all uh, rel relatively small objects if you're looking at details. So I've had this eyepiece for a while now, and I spent some time comparing it to some of the other eyepieces in my collection. Uh, just to see how it compares to some of the more expensive eyepieces. And uh, what I found now is that at 24 millimeters, which is the lowest zoom setting, uh, the field of view of this eyepiece is a little bit narrow at about 40 degrees. Uh, but if you zoom in to uh, all the way to 8 millimeters, the field of view increases to a respectable 60 degrees. Uh, so it's not quite as wide field as some of the individual eyepieces, but uh, as you can see, it's much, much more compact. So this one over here is the uh, Lunt Engineering 20 millimeter, 100 degree eyepiece. So weighs several times more and costs maybe five times as much as the Celestron one. Um, so the Celestron one uh, or the Mead one is, is quite a bit lighter and you get a, a whole range of focal lengths in one convenient, uh, one convenient package. Um, now, aside from the, the slightly narrower field of view, uh, the eye relief on this eyepiece is actually quite good. So even if you wear glasses, uh, you know, it'll work pretty well. And I also found that it's not very sensitive to eye placement. So with some of the other eyepieces, you have to place your eye at the, at the perfect spot. Otherwise, you get blackouts or kidney beaning. Uh, but in this eyepiece, I found that I could, I could place my eye pretty much anywhere and I could still see the entire field. Uh, so that's, that's definitely useful for, for beginners and for anybody who wears, uh, wears eyeglasses. Um, but one of the downsides of having a narrower field of view is that some of the larger objects may not fit in the field of view of your telescope. If you have a telescope with a really long focal length, something like the C11 over here, uh, so you would have to, to you know, move your scope around to see the entire object if it's a really large object. Um, and I did find that overall the field of view was quite sharp, uh, all the way from 24 millimeter down to 8 millimeters. Um, there was very little, if any, false color, and the eyepiece compared very well actually to some of my other eyepieces uh, as far as splitting double stars or seeing details on the moon. Um, and uh, the view of, uh, of the Hercules cluster was actually quite good. The stars were very well resolved and the lunar craters looked quite detailed. Now, one thing I noticed while using this eyepiece was that as you zoom in from 24 millimeters all the way to 8 millimeters, the focus does change a little bit. So you will have to refocus your telescope as you change focus, uh, sorry, as, as you change the focal length of the eyepiece where you zoom in and out. Uh, but that's, that's a small price to pay for the convenience of being able to zoom all the way from 24 millimeters to 8 millimeters without having to, to change your eyepiece. And also if you have a, a relatively small and light scope and you don't want to be changing eyepieces because that, that shifts the balance significantly, uh, this is also really convenient in that regard. Uh, with just one eyepiece you don't have to worry about rebalancing the scope even if you have a relatively uh, light telescope. 
And one feature that I really liked on this eyepiece is that if you uh, remove the eye guard over here, so you can take that right off. And when you take that off, uh, this eyepiece has built-in M42 threads. So what you can do with that is if you want to take pictures, uh, you can get a T adapter like this. You can get these for any camera. So this is a T2 adapter. Uh, this is for Canon. So you can just screw that right onto the threads of the eyepiece. And now you can take pictures with this eyepiece. So you can... Uh, change the zoom levels over here and you can attach this directly to your DSLR or mirrorless camera you just remove the lens and attach this right where the lens goes and then you can take pictures of the planets or the moon uh, this is not really for deep sky imaging but for taking pictures of the moon or the planets uh, this is a really convenient feature so in summary uh, this eyepiece is not going to replace a case full of 82 degree or 100 degree eyepieces uh, but it is my go-to eyepiece for my portable setup whenever I'm going hiking or camping. Uh, so, uh, you know, overall this eyepiece offers uh, really good convenience, portability, and for someone who's just starting out and doesn't want to spend a lot of money getting multiple eyepieces, uh, this eyepiece is hard to beat. So uh, I would definitely recommend the uh, 8-24mm zoom eyepiece. And uh, if you want one of these as well, uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Well, thank you very much for your time and uh, clear skies.